Hello, welcome everybody to this video. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to install the theme. So one of the greatest websites that you could search for themes is the Invato Market. I do recommend to choose Book a Theme. Uh, this link is a short link for that. You could choose it, open it in order to see this uh, theme. You could also use any other theme that you want. Uh, there are tons of themes for WooCommerce. I do recommend to choose or search for the term WooCommerce uh, inside the Envato market in order to see the different themes that you can see. We have tons of themes, but I do recommend to choose um, Puka because it got around two, uh, around 3,000 sales and just got five star reviews. So that's why I choose Puka. I'm not a developer for this theme, so I just you know use it as a regular user. But I do recommend it for this uh, training purposes because it got everything almost uh, everything we need from you know the marketplaces to uh, RTL to the Visual Composer, Elementor got everything. So generally, I do recommend to choose for art you know search for RTL themes. Because you, you need also to support for right to left languages and also you need to support for other marketplace libraries like Lucan. So we have all this support here in Puka. And also make sure that this theme is regularly updated. So you can see it's obvious that this theme has been recently updated. So all these are reasons that I look for uh, in terms of buying new theme or choosing a new theme from the premium themes using Invato Market, the theme first. So here we just, you know, buy this theme and download it. I just click on the download button, download this theme. Uh, you know, the size of it is around 707 megabyte. So we could use it in, inside our website. So how to use this theme? The usage of this theme is very simple. You have to log in to your WordPress admin. You go to something called appearance and from appearance you could see we got something called themes and here you could choose between different themes. We got free themes by default. You could get add a new theme from the themes that in WordPress. You're not going to pay for these themes because most of them are free. We're not going to use these free themes. We, we got to upload our own theme from Invato Market. So that's why I'm just going to go click on Upload Theme. And after that, choose and going to select the theme that I want. So I've downloaded the theme, the compressed file of the theme. Here we go. I'm just going to right click on it, extract the content of this folder into um, instead of zip file just gonna you know extra extract the content into a folder inside this theme we got something called theme folder just click on it and here we got puka i just gonna choose this folder theme and choose this file zip file puka and click on install so this is the manual way how you could install this theme into your website just you know extract the files Make sure it's got only one file called um, theme file. Generally, they put child theme next to it. So the way that we did, we just, you know, open this folder theme and we got this. This is the selected theme that we want. We just upload it. How you could know this is a theme? Just basically, if you double click on the ZIP file, you're going to see we got a folder. This is the folder of the theme. Click on it. Another time you can see all these files are the, the content of the theme. So generally, once you do this, you can see, let me just put this file over here. You can see we got something called style, the CSS. We got something called functions.php. So this is an indication that this is a WordPress theme file so we don't need all these files we just need the folder that contains all these content and it's recommended to put this folder under uh, zip file in order to upload it to the website okay we just choose that and click on the uh, appearance we choose that file and click on the install now 
just gonna take a while while this content being uploaded to the server and we could just pause this video until the upload is finished all right so right now we are inside the upload theme page uh, we could click on the activate in order to activate our theme so just click on the activate button or the activate link and wait for a few seconds all right so we got theme activated and we got this message the theme requires the following plugins so you could always see this and in different themes you got this option to install Com uh, combining plugin with a theme so for example here we have themes we have install plugins tab or link and once you click on that link you could add your plugins that are associated with a theme to be installed on, the, on your own theme so for example here we got install plugins all these plugins are required to launch the theme correctly so generally in different themes we have different plugins for example these plugins are used for with a puka theme but you have to make sure yeah, you don't install two visual composer at, at the same time for example we have something called page builder and we have other thing called page builder so elementor is a page builder and bakery is a page builder we it's not recommended to use these two at the same time so one of them is enough because if you install these two you got some conflict later on and maybe gonna you know affect your website so here we're just gonna click on the upper checkbox click once you click here you're gonna select all but you go to the bakery page builder and select it this is the solution after that you click on the install tab and you click apply in order to install all these plugins into your website all right excellent so we've installed all the required plugins we click in the return to the required plugins installer and here we go we need to select this bulk select option select them all except the bakery beach builder and here we click on the activate we install them next step we need to activate them we just click on activate and click apply all right perfect now we've installed all the themes except the bakery page builder uh, we could go to the next step so in order to go to the next step we have to go to the theme setup which is an option inside appearance you click on it and once you click on it uh, we got this option okay we could go to this option first dismiss this option and here we go back to the theme that we got which is side appearance we got something called theme setup click on it and we got with this wizard so most themes got this theme uh, setup or theme wizard we click on the start button uh, we are asked to install child theme we're not going to use this right now child theme basically just like a way that you make uh, custom changes to the main theme so you make these custom changes through a uh, child theme um, most of the time I, I'm not gonna use child theme for you know uh, big projects but sometimes if you have a custom project requirement you're gonna go for child themes right now we are asked to add the style that we want so we have for example this style and we have also this style so my client asked me to choose you know between nine and eight um i don't see a big difference between them but let's go to the nine it's similar we are required to add you know um 
we're going to add the content, the widget, the redex, and the after import uh, settings. So we click on select all this content. Content basically the content, the page, the menus. Widgets are the widgets. Redux is the framework that used to in order to build this theme. And the after import are content, configurations, settings to the uh, WordPress. So we're going to import the whole content. So that's why we just select this option. Click on the import button and just wait for a few minutes until the import is completed. All right, uh, after we install the theme, the whole content, you can see we got the theme over here and it just looks amazing. So how to customize the theme, how to edit it and the rest of the stuff we're going to see you in the next video. I appreciate you watching and huge congratulations for reaching this minute.